So in this video, we'll talk about recursion. So in the last video, we have uh, seen how to call a function. So we have to first declare the function, then we have to define it, then and we can call it, right? So in this video, we'll see how recursion works. So in a uh, nutshell, what is recursion? So recursion is, so it is recursion. So recursion is calling a function, or we can simply say a function calling itself. Okay. Now what it means, so let's say you have a function called as abc. So this abc function calls a function which is also a abc and that function calls a function which is abc. So that, that means this function call itself and that itself calls itself. This is called a recursion. Right? And to, to demonstrate how recursion works, we'll see uh, an example of factorial. So let me just remove the earlier code. So if I remove this part and a function here. So we'll start with basic. So what we'll do is we'll, <coughs> sorry, we'll create a function which is called as fact. So fact is, fact will represent a factorial here. We can give any name. And uh, here we'll mention, it will take a parameter of type int. It will take, a, it will take int value and it will return an int value. So here we'll create a variable which is int uh, n which will have your value let's say I want to find the factorial of 5 and just to let you know the logic of uh, factorial so it works in something in this way so we have uh, int n equal to 5 we have to apply a for loop again we can use fact function but time being we'll do it in main function so in, uh, so in case if you don't want to create a new function you can utilize your main function to find a factorial. So we require a variable to count. So we'll, we'll say initially the value of i will be 1. So we'll say i equal to 1. It will go to the last number which is n. So n is 5, right? So it will go till n and we have to say n plus plus, or sorry, i plus plus. And in this we have to, we require one more variable which will hold the value of factorial. So we'll say int fact, or why not fact, let's say f. So the initial value of f will be 1. And we'll say f equal to f into i. So, every, what, so what is fact? What is factorial basically? To when you have, let's say you want to find five factorial, so you will get a uh, five into four into three into two into one, right? So, doesn't matter if it is five into three, four into three into two into one, or it is it is one into two into three into four into five, right? So answer will be same. So I guess five factorial is one twenty. Is it five and twenty? Uh, maybe so you should get so after printing after after this loop since we are doing the same thing we are just doing 1 into 2 into 3 into uh, 4 into 5 so what we'll do is let's print the value of f here so we'll say printf and we'll say percent 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 d will give a new line slash n and comma will say f so it will print the factorial value so let, let's run this so if you run this code, you will see the output as 120, right? So that's how you have to find a factor of a number. Now, uh, we'll do this with the help of a function. So we'll create a new function here. We'll say this function as int fact, and this will return a value. So we'll say it will take a value first, and then it will return a value. So time in, let's return a value which is 0, just to make sure we don't get any error while typing. And then we can just copy this loop. We also need all these variables, right? So we'll start with this. We'll copy these values and we'll paste it here. Okay. So now, uh, okay. So instead of returning, so instead of returning zero, let's return value which is f. So it will return you the output. So if you pa so we don't have to write this here. Okay. So we are we are taking this value which is n equal to five, and we need to pass that value in fact by passing it using a parameter then the value of f will be 1 and then you have to run a loop which will find the factorial by multiplying and then it will return a value which is f okay let's call this so we'll say fact and then we'll pass n so if you pass n it will you know find the factorial and it will return the value now since it is it, it returns your value we'll say uh, int result equal to fact n and here we'll print the value of we'll say fact is percent d and will print the value of result right so since this fact will return you the value we have to show it in uh, result and we have to print the result 
Okay, and if you run this, you got the same output, right? Which is fact is 120. So that's how you have to call a function to do your task. So and now we have to convert this into a recursion mode. So I think that will do in the that will be better if you do in the next video. So that's it from this video. So do watch the next video for to find how how to convert this into a recursion way.